three, two, one. Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Wolf and welcome back to Minecraft Age of Engineering. When we last left off, we were getting things done and this and that. And all the coolness and all the goodness and we built our war power and we, we went to Mars and oh, such a good time. Today, however, because we have a lot of things that require uh, nether stars, kind of like our structure... Uh, structure blocks here. We want to go to tier four, but in order for us to get the tier four, we're going to need the nether stars. The only way to get nether stars is to either A, kill all the withers ourselves, or we get a automated way of doing so. So today is what we're going, that's what we're going to work on. And we're going to try a couple of methods. Uh, I have a sneaky idea of how to get this done, but first we need to get, uh, some mechanical users. We need to get uh, probably about five of these. Let's see, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven-ish of these. So I don't know if our system knows how to make them. No, they, no, it doesn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to teach our system how to make these mechanical users. Uh, we need to teach it how to make dispensers. And we need to teach, teach it how to make a bow. So we'll got that. Uh, let's uh, go back, make a bow. And then we'll teach it how to make a dispenser. And then we can teach it how to make that. Uh, whoops, we need a dispenser. Uh, and then uh, we'll need to teach it how to make levers. Because, I mean, I know it seems kind of silly to waste a spot for a lever. But, yeah, you never know when you might need a lever in a recipe. So, there we go. So, we should make... Uh, let's make a lever really fast. There we go. So now we should be able to get it to make mechanical users. And then all we got to do is just put these bad boys in our machine down here. Uh, let's just start a new row. And we'll eventually fill it all in. But uh, for now, we'll just do it like this. So, Mr. Machine, Mr. AE System, please do me the favor and make me seven of these, please. Eh, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. All right. So another thing that we're going to need, and this is going to be where it gets a little bit weird. We're going to have to think, we're going to be using a thing called, uh, let's see if I can spell it right, Phantom Faces. Uh, we haven't really worked with Phantom Faces uh, yet, but uh, there is a Phantom Placer. Yes, Phantom Placer, which is um, what we're actually going to use. So Phantom Facer is a auto placer with a Phantom Face. Phantom faces are like so, so let's get the phantom face, uh, let's teach it how to make an ender pearl block, whoops, that's not the teaching, uh, phantom, there we go, teach it how to make a phantom face, so first we need to teach it how to make an ender block, and then from there, I think we know how to, I think it, I taught it how to make the advanced coils, let's look up, coil, yes, it does know how to make advanced coils, so that's, that's good. So, Phantom Face. So, we're going to need uh, one of these. Go ahead and make a couple. And then we're going to need one of these, uh, which needs one of these. There we go. Uh, I think, yeah, I taught it how to make the coils, so I know how to make it take, teach the basic coil. So, let's make ourselves one of these. And then we should be able to teach it how to make the Phantom Face. There we go. So now that we have the phantom face, what else did we need? We need an auto placer, which is this machine here. So I teach you how to make the auto placer. Uh, we'll put these machine or put this these recipes in here, like so. And then we're gonna say, hey, can you make us? Can you make me seven phantom faces? And then we're going to have to learn how to make the auto placers. So we'll need seven of those. Auto. Actually, why am I doing it manually? Let's just go straight for straight for broke and teach it how to make the auto phantom placer. Oh, that's because I don't know how to make it the auto. So let's make one auto placer. And then we can teach that in the system. Uh, put those away. For some reason with the AE system, basically if you have something left in your little crafting box, it basically counts as it being missing. 
Even though you have it, it's just not there. So, Phantom Placer, yes. So let's teach you how to make those. And once again, we'll put this in here. Start filling up the hole. All right, so Phantom. Uh, yes, Phantom Placers, we're gonna need seven of these. Awesome. So it shouldn't take too long, there we go. So now that we've got our mechanical users, seven mechanical users, seven phantom placers, uh, we're gonna need some blocks. So I'm just gonna opt out to get the uh, stone blocks, wherever they are. Oh, I need to make some more. So let's just make a thousand for me, please. Thank you very much. Uh, and then, let's see, what else do we need? We're gonna need a means of, of uh, a way to get our inventory to because we're going to need two things we're going to need uh soul sand and we're going to need uh wither heads so let me go ahead over here really fast to make sure that my wither production's still going uh it looks like wither skeletons are still spawning yes wither skeletons are still spawning this chest is quite empty so awesome 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 now the question is though where should i place this i don't know but uh, like I was saying in the previous episode, we're going to teach the system how to make... Actually, I need some more patterns. So, can you make me a hundred patterns, please? Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, what is this pattern? Printed silicon. I need to re... Let me just... We don't use that pattern anymore, so... No sense in keeping it. Uh, so now we're going to need to make... Let's see, what else do we need? We need to get... I want to try to use the uh, projector system. So the shield. Remember the shield? So uh, shield protector tier 1. I think we're probably going to have to opt for like shield protector uh, projector 2. Which calls for a shield projector 1. Which calls for reinforced obsidian. Which is this. And I have none of that. So, uh, I don't think we're going to be using any shield projectors for the most part. Uh, I don't think I need to auto-craft it, per se. So, let's look up dark steel. Uh, we need dark steel bars. And we don't have any. Can I can craft dark steel, though. Can you make me 100 dark steel, please? Uh, we're going to need a little bit of it. Uh, and I also need some of that reinforced obsidian. A reinforced stone, which probably need to make some because it needs this, the re the that reinforced stone. So let's get some uh, scaffolding. Get ten or so. I don't know exactly how much we'll need, but uh, I can go ahead and make it. And then we need our. Or let's get our scaffolding. It should not take that long. And then we need our uh, sprayer. Which, what did I do with it? In here? No. Sprayer? Hello? I swore I still had my sprayer. There it is. I was just spelling it incorrectly. Alright. And zooks. And let's get some sand. Awesome. And then we should be able to do this and this. And then this and this. And then I can grab in my little bag, get my three by. And then put that in there. And then it should be two uh two grab two grabs. So this would be three. And I can do three over here. That should be enough, I'm hoping. If not, I can always make more. It's not like this stuff is, is not hard to make now that we have the materials to do so. So, okay. So now do we have enough dark steel? Yeah, we've got some dark steel. So let's let's teach the system how to make dark steel bars. Well, no, just grab some. Uh, so we need a shield projector, <clears throat> Mark 1, which is that, which we need reinforced obsidian. Need three. Uh, let's put that away. Put this away. Oh, we don't have enough. I wonder what we're missing. 
I wonder exactly what we're missing. Problem. Oh, there's two. Probably missing the dark steel because we did just use a lot of it uh, to make the dark steel bars, uh, iron bars. Come on, come on. Like, seriously? You should already have some dark steel. All right, there's two. It takes a long time to make dark steel for some goodness reason. So for some reason, it takes a long time to make steel. Don't know why. It just does. Come on. You're almost done. Come on. I don't even know if I can speed this machine up down here any faster than what it already is. Yeah, it just takes an awful long time. But uh, now that I actually have that, that machine occupied for the second. There we go. We got three. So let's look up, oops, shield protector again. Shield protector, mark one. Uh, put that in there, boop, there we go. And then uh, number two only just takes blocks of redstone. So that's not too bad, that's not too bad. So, red, oops, redstone blocks. Please craft me four. Like so. Shield Protector Mark II. That should be enough. I don't know if we need any more than that. Uh, but like I said before, I'm not very, very, I don't know, what is this block? Okay, so that's that's all we need. Feeling safe now. <laughs> all right, so now that we've got that, we need uh, the shield blocks themselves, which are these shield templates. So we're going to need some of these. I'm going to just get a stack of those, and then some. I'm going to get some different color ones. Oh, so shield templates basically turn into other templates if you... Okay, so let's grab another stack of these. And then what we'll do is we'll empty this, and then turn them all red. Like so. Uh, and if we need more, we need more. All right, so I do want to put it really, really close to where... We do have a lot of power going in, going out, and why did I take damage? I'm not supposed to take damage on that. Uh, I know we had a place set up in the uh, in our our overworld or our mining world, but I think it's probably best just to put it somewhere near here. Uh, I want it to be far away from the base or in our normal area that it doesn't like make massive amounts of noise. But at the same time, I don't want it to be you know too far away where if something happens. Uh, I can't, you know, take care of it. So, here should be a good place. Let's turn Jetpack on. And let's, let's come off of this area. We'll probably put it over here. So, let me grab my Ender Cables. And then I probably need to set some Ender Cables. Uh, Ender Energy. Is that, is that what they are? Ender Energy? Yeah. Just look up energy. Uh, do I have I not taught you how to make them? <gasps> Shame on me! Shame, Dragon Whelp. Oh my goodness! All right, let's teach the system really quick how to make these guys. Awesome. And then I'll need to teach it how to make binder composite, which is this, uh, which I need. This also got binder. Yes, this. It needs what? It needs CF powder. CF powder is made with this. And, oh my goodness, am I out? I'm out of regular, <laughs> I'm out of regular clay. But we have tons and tons of black cl uh, clay blocks. So, let's look up clay. Yes, I need to know how to make this. We can get it from bees, or we can put it in a enrichment chamber. Uh, extractor, we could put it in an extractor. Uh, crusher, grinder, sag meal. Uh, yeah, let's make a sag meal recipe for that. So, let's look up some clay. Let's grab one clay. And put this in that. And we'll go put it in the sag meal to, to get our clay back. There we go. Now, it's not very... You know, very cost efficient, but for what we're needing, um, it's good. I'm only going to do one block to one, uh, 
because it's very random we can get sometimes we get three some got sometimes we get two so i'm just going to teach the system just a very generic recipe even though one makes one or one can make multiples um i'm still going to teach it how to do just the one-to-one -one. uh is it cost efficient no but it will get the job done and not have to worry about like, oh, it automatically makes four. So if you do one to one to four, it's going to be like, okay, I'm waiting for four. And if it only makes three, then yeah. So let's find the sag mill. Uh, where'd you go, sag mill? Sag mill, there we go. So the sag mill needs this. Nope, not that. This. And then we need to put this in here. And then I need to teach it how to make binder composite. So we can put this in here. So this makes this. Make this. We need this. Whoops. Uh, there we go. That makes binder composite. And then binder composite with wood pulp makes that. Uh, we need to teach it how to make wood pulp, which is just wood and a carpenter. Uh, I think I need to go grab... My carpenter over one of my carpenters over here and set it up uh let's see this one yeah grab this one really wasn't doing anything anyway it was just sitting there because i made extras to go downstairs uh let's see where can we put this uh how many lines we have we've got 26 here uh so we can actually put it here if i really wanted to that that works for me Uh, so I will grab an interface and then we'll grab power there we go and then now that it's got power we should be able to say wood just regular old wood plain Jane wood goes into wood pulp uh, it needs water uh fantastic but we have water here so it's not like a, it's a lost cause so let's grab some one of these and place it there and then let's grab our yetta wrench our handy dandy rent yetta wrench put it in fluid mode um rest of them should be disappeared there we go. Should be able to click that. There we go. Now it's got water. And then we'll set this back. Whoops. With the check. There we go. So now that you made you made wood pulp. So I do need to pull this out of here. So what color is this? This is insert on green. So let's grab some item conduits and we know that it extracts from the bottom so extract to green always active and it should have pulled that wood pulp out of there okay so now the question is though if i teach the system how to make wood pulp so let's grab whoops wood cancel this out so wood pulp or no wood let's see oak wood to wood pulp i don't know if the system will make this but i'm gonna try i'm never i don't need i don't think that this is going to be an issue due to the fact that uh uh where is that wood pulp at there it is uh i think this will interface with it nicely but we'll find out so look up wood Wood pulp. So let's ask for 10. And is this working? Aha! See, I made a mistake with the recipe. I said one wood pulp to one oak wood. And because it automatically, it does automatically come out, so it's 1 to 4. Uh, I asked for 10, it made me 40. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I'll put this back in here. And get some wood pulp four and then change this recipe 
There we go. So that makes four wood pulp. So now that we know it works and we have it set up to where it will import into the system, this is awesome. This is awesome. So now we can teach it how to make CF powder. I know this is a long roundabout way of doing it, but CF powder. I should be able to put these uh, things that we just crap made or little things. So we got one here. We got one here. So I should now be able to make CF powder. Make 10 CF powder for me. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. And then this should make the conduit binder. Binder. Binder composite. So make 10 binder composite. So now we can say... One binder composite melts up into one uh, conduit binder. And then we can put that in the smelter. Uh, I think clear glass. Uh, try to think where the actual smelter is. I know I have one down here. Yeah, I actually I actually put this. This is in furnace mode. Okay, so it is the one with that. So, hey, there we go. So now we now we know when we ask for, hey, can you make me some Ender energy? Hey, make me a hundred of these because I know I'm going to eventually need them. Hey, go ahead and start and look at that. Boom. Very quick, very fast, and the machine knows how to do it. All right. So now that we've got that, I'm going to be very, very messy with this. And yes, I know this is going to be just all kinds of messy. I technically could stop now and put the, the spawner thing here, but... And we're just going to put it... Uh, you know what? Right here's fine. Right here's fine. So what I'm going to do... Is actually going to get our shield tier 2 shield projector. Put you there. It's filling up with energy. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to connect. I think I need to make a wrench. Uh, shield. Uh, what mod is this from? This is from RF Tools. Do we have the RF Tools at RF Tools? Uh, smart wrench. There we go. That's what we need. We need a smart wrench. I don't think I've made one of these, so... There we go. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start this off. This is going to be the floor. And because these shield things are really, really easy to make, we can make actually make this as big as we want it. Uh, probably need to do like a nine by nine, honestly. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if we need more, we can always make more. Ooh, and they just break really, really easy. So, so from here, I want one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. All right. We can fill this in. Whoops. Nope. I don't want that there. I want some more red ones. So I want to be really, really precise with this. So three. Let's go four for now. And we need... Yeah, we're going to need some more. So let's do ten. Uh, hello? Ten? I don't understand. There we go. Ten. Whoops. And we need three. Three more. So, one, two, three. 
Easy peasy. Alright, so now that we've got that, we should be able to take these now and make big, big cage. And I'm going to make this, I think, six blocks tall. I don't know how big the, uh, how much room the wither uh, needs. But in order for us to do this, uh, like I did set the other one like four blocks tall. Uh, and then the withers, they wouldn't always get out. But they, they, they had a, a, you know, they did get out every once in a while when I was manually fighting them. So, we're going to make it just a little bit taller than normal. Just to be on the safe side. And uh, that way we don't have a, a, a wild wither, you know, taking over our world. So... Because if this thing gets a, gets loose, yeah, our base is, is very, very fragile. So I do want to make sure all of these blocks are connected. And should be able to set this up like so. So we've got, what, one, two, three, four, or let's see, one, two, three. This makes fourth layer. And then we're going to need some more of these. Give me another 64 or however much I can get. Probably need some more wool. I'll have to look. Just grab those. So that's four. Um, so if our wither... Actually, I need to put some of this stuff away. Yeah, we're out of wool. That's what happened. So put the binder composite stuff away. And where did all my stone go? Let's grab some more stone. There we go. Stone. So if we have our wither, whoops. Oh, I still have three by in there. Uh, that was bad. Uh, what happened to the reds? Did they automatically convert? That's fine. We can always fix it. So if we have our wither right here, so that only gives like one block ahead. So yeah, our original plan is going to be like this. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, do like this. And then we'll just get some more so here's the top of the wither. Yeah, that'd be that should be fine. So now what we can do is we can come across here, like so, and make a roof. So let me make some more wool. Let's just craft a thousand. We oh we don't have enough string. Oh, uh, how about a hundred? Okay, we've got we got the string for that. Might actually have to set up a spider spawner. That that's not that's very scary, very very scary. Uh, so now we can just do this. There we go. Give me 64 more. Granted, if I don't use all these, I imagine I can. I'll have. Uh, I'll make use for them because if if this does turn out to do very very well. Uh, ooh, you scared me, skeleton. Wow. I don't know why that scared me so bad, but that scared me really bad. Oh wow, he actually looks like we might need more. Whoops. Yeah, we're going to need more. Wow. This structure is a lot bigger than I anticipated. There's supposed to be... Okay. And you're probably asking yourself, what in the world is this thing? Well, uh, eventually it's going to be... A force field that's going to, uh, you know, take care of things for us. So, yeah, come on, skeletons, leave me alone. Alright, we're going to have to fight these guys. Yeah, let's just go, go take a quick nap. So that way we don't get bothered during the day by the, the little ones. So let's take a quick nap. And we'll continue on with our thing. 
Awesome. Yeah, guys, just chill out. Just chill out. All right, so what we're going to do here is color for shield. Uh, we want it to be a t transparent. Uh, yeah. Nope. Uh, well, we can do default. Default. So entities pass through. And this one is going to be, we need to do red. Whoops. Or, I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter. So, generic damage type. Damage done by player. That's what we want. And then, entities pass through the filter. Nope. I want it to be solid for hostile mobs. So, add that. So, hostile is going to be solid. And then what we'll do is we'll take our little uh, wrench. Should be able just to, like, click on that. There we go. And see, it, it turns yellow, so we can change the color of this to whatever color we want. We just poop like that. Um, uh, and then uh, that is for that one. Oh, we're going to need another one, aren't we? <sighs> okay. We're going to need two shield generator things here. Okay, no problem. Uh, so, yeah, that one's going to be solid for hostiles. Uh, I also want it to be, actually, delete this. I want it to be solid for all. Yeah, solid for all. So you want to right click, right click again. Uh, so while we're here, let's make ourselves another one of those shield dudes. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have enough for... Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so we're going to need another power conduit, which we know how to make plenty of. And then we'll put the other shield here. Hopefully, this can take care of all of this. I think this is more than 360 blocks. Actually, yeah, let's... Yeah, no, 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 no. What we're going to do, we're going to break this, and we're just going to up it just to be safe. Because I'd hate for the shields to stop working. Uh, because of, uh, you know, random, random mishap. So, Ritstone, make me four blocks, please. And we'll just turn it to shield generator two. No worries. Awesome. So this one, however, I want it to be pass for all. But I also want it to be damage to hostiles. And then I want to use this one to go up. So first and foremost, it is solid for all. So what I want to do is, or I can walk through it, but creatures can't, shouldn't be able to. So that way, this should not get out. So let's do um, soul sand and wither skulls. Let's clean this out. Let's grab some wither skulls. So let's go ahead and replace this this preemptive thing here with the uh, summoning of the wither. And this is either going to go really, really good or really, really bad. So here we go. Hopefully it doesn't destroy anything when it goes kaboom. All right, it hurt me, but that's okay. Oh, he got out. He got out. Oh boy. Give me just a second. Let me kill this wither, and then we'll uh, we'll come back. Here we're back. All right. Well, I'm back, and I dispatched of the wither. Uh, let's let's try this again. Uh, if this doesn't work, then I'll have to reevaluate. Uh, Reevaluate -evalu what's going on here, and then uh, probably fix it. And it looks like I'm uh, slowly running out of time. So if I don't finish it this episode, I'll be more than happy to do it next episode. So that should work. Get away. Let's not get hit by it. Oh, and, uh, okay, it, it's got released. 
That's not healthy. So I'll have to recheck to see why it's not working correctly. I should have. I set it to be. Where'd it go? Oh. He's, he's so dark I can't see him against the black of the night sky. All right, so we'll have to fix it because it looks like he just passed right through it, no problem whatsoever. So hopefully we can evaluate what it is. So give me just a second. Once again, dispatch of this fellow here. And then uh, be right back. Aha! Uh -huh, I figured it out. So I had it. I had, did have it to default to pass. So I want solid for hostile, and then hostile damage, doing player damage. That should work. Yeah, that should work. So one more test. One more test. So soul sand. Oops, I need one more. And then Wither Skulls. Hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers this actually works this time. Because we did uh, the first time, first couple of times. Yeah, my fault. My fault. I should have checked it the second time. This time, this should be right. So, if my calculation is correct, he should not be able to get out of there. Really? Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I need to figure out why this is not working or find a different uh, means of, of doing this. Uh, if you do know of any way of, of fixing it, please, by all means, let me know. Uh, I'm going to try to figure it out between now and next episode. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please do remember to give it a big thumbs up. Until next time, see you later. Come here, you little punk. Almost died there.